Hello students, today I am going to deal the topic cost analysis. As we all know that the production activity is always associated with the cost. In other words, cost is nothing but the cost of a production. Whenever a producer produces a commodity, there will be some amount of a cost which must be incurred by the producer for receiving that commodity. So here cost means cost of production and which can be calculated by taking into consideration the rewards given for the various factors of a production. As we all know that there are four factors of a production land, labor, capital and organization and these factors of production are not available freely. It means that they must be rewarded. Who has to reward them? the producers or the firm who is undertaking the production activity. In what way they must be rewarded in, in terms of money. Uh, for example, land must be rewarded in terms of rent, labor in wages, capital in interest and organization in profit. And when the money value of all these factor rewards are summed up, the resultant value will be the cost of production. <coughs> Thus, the term cost simply means the cost of a production. It is the expenses incurred in the production of goods. It is the sum of all money expenses incurred by a firm in order to produce a commodity. And why do we need cost? Why do we need uh, to analyze the cost of production? It is very, very important in the field of production as I already told you especially to the managerial economist to take the decisions regarding the business. Let us now move on to the cost function. What is cost function? Cost function uh, represents the functional relationship between the cost of production and its various determinants. And the cost fu function is determined by, uh, uh, it is derived by the production function. So there are two categories of cost function short run cost function and long run cost function. As we all know that uh, in the production some factors of production are uh, variable factors of production in the short run and some are fixed factors. And when we move on, uh, move on to the long run production activity, so all the factors of a production are variable factors of a production. Therefore, the cost function is analyzed with the help of time period, uh, the short run cost function and the long run cost function. And the long run cost function can be represented symbolically which is given in the slide C is equal to F of X T P subscribes F. Here C represents cost and F functional relationship, X is the output here, T represents technology and P here means the prices of factors or the prices of inputs uh, that is land, labor, capital and organization. And as I already told you in a long run cost function there is no fixed factor. All factors are variable factors therefore we do not take into consideration the factors as fixed factors in the long run cost function. Here the factor services can be varied to any extent by the producer in the case of long run production activity. Therefore, in the long run cost function there is no fixed cost. And uh, uh, we have another form of cost function that is short run cost function and symbolically it may be represented as C is equal to F of X, T, P subscribes F, F and K. Uh, the short run cost function is different from the long run cost function as far as one variable is taken into consideration that is k and all other variables are same as we represented in the case of long run cost function. Here uh, in the case of short run cost function c represents cost f functional relationship x the output t here means technology p subscribes f the prices of factors of a production or inputs and K here exclusively meant for 
the fixed factors the amount of fixed factors used by the producer for the production activity and the cost incurred on the fixed factors of the production let us move on to the determinant of determinants of cost cost is influenced by its various determinants or we also consider them as the independent variables of a cost and the important determinants or the independent variables of a cost are uh, one is size of a plant here size of a plant means the size of the industry and <clears throat> there exists inverse relationship between the size of the plant and the cost larger the size lesser will be the cost and vice versa is the case and it is mainly because of the emergence of economies of scale here economies of scale means in the long run production activity as well as in the large scale production activity the cost of production decreases considerably because of the entry of economies of scale and because of this reason when the size of the industry increases or the size of the plant increases the cost of production automatically decreases so this is considered as one of the important determinants of a cost and another determinant of cost is the level of output the level of commodity or the level of service being released by the industry <coughs> and there exists direct relationship between the level of output and the cost of a production higher the level of output more will be the cost of production and lower the level of output lesser will be the cost of a production therefore we consider it as the direct relationship between the level of output and the cost of a production and one more determinant is the prices of inputs the price of the input means the rewards given for the various factors of a production in the form of rent wages interest and profit <coughs> and again here there exists direct relationship between the price of input and uh, the cost of production as and when the prices of inputs uh, increase the cost of production is likely to increase and whenever the prices of inputs decrease the cost of production will decrease take for example when the price of labor increases or when the reward given for labor increases the cost of production will increase because the uh, the amount of money or the wages given to the workers will also influence the cost of production let us take another example when the rent given for land increases it will uh, affect the ultimate cost of production of the firm therefore we consider price of input as another influential factor of cost <coughs> and one more is the state of technology as we all know that the technology influences the production activity to a greater extent and if the modern and the efficient technology is used by the producer the cost of production decreases and if the technology is very very poor a uh, very poor amount of technology is used the cost of production is likely to increase so this is another determinant and the last determinant of a cost is the management and administrative efficiency and there exists direct relationship between the management and administrative efficiency and the cost of production uh, the management and administrative efficiency is uh, uh, is more than the cost of a production will be less and if we have inefficient management inefficient administrative system automatically the cost of production is likely to increase so this is all about the cost cost function and the determinants of the cost thank you very much